Hello, neighbor. I'm Mr. Rogers, and welcome to my neighborhood. Today, we'll be joined by my good friend, Ducky. Today, we're going to be learning about injection molding. But, Mr. Rogers, what is injection molding? I'm glad you asked. Injection molding is a process that makes many small to large plastic pieces. Actually, all of you happen to be made by injection molding. No way! Yes way! Pest dispensers like you are perfect for injection molding, because injection molding is perfect for mass production of plastic parts. At high quantities, it is relatively cheap to produce parts using this process. Plastic is melted into liquid form inside of the machine. That liquid is then pumped into a mold. At this point, we wait for the part to harden inside of the mold. When it's hard enough, the mold is opened up, and the part is pushed out by the ejector pins. Isn't that just great? But what about the ejector pins? I'm glad you asked. The ejector pins help push the piece from the mold cavity upon opening. They leave distinct marks on products made using this process. Wait, what's even made using injection molding anyway? Injection molding is everywhere. Here are just a few examples of products made by injection molding. Pez dispensers, Legos, lawn chairs, storage containers, small tables, gears, and bottle caps. Wow! Injection molding sounds great! Hold on there, ducky. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are a couple conditions that can make it non-ideal to produce parts via injection molding. It's cheap, but only if we make a lot of the same part. There's also a problem that occurs if the air is not moving around enough to cool the part, that can cause the plastic to sink away from the mold, or even have air bubbles leaving empty spaces in the part. Thank you for joining us for our conversation about injection molding. I hope you have a great day, neighbor.